There we go. Hi, Don. You still feeling okay? Tick tock. As strong as a rock, I feel it. Well, I think you should know that Jack won't be throwing any more punches around here. I can promise you that. Well, Finelli's not responsible for that. It's just there to uh, keep me in shape, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you got a minute? Sure. I'm sorry I missed you this afternoon. Your mother told me how bad you were feeling, and I got to tell you that I don't blame you at all. Yeah. No, wait, listen to me. Hear me out. I, I understand what you're feeling, and I want you to know that I think it's the smartest move you ever made. And I think you're going to get over that man sooner than you think possible. And as a matter of fact, you haven't looked this good in the last six months. Shall I tell you why? Well, I think I know why, but you can tell me. Because I'm not going to get over Jack. Not ever. What, what do you mean? He's asked me to marry him, Doc. We're engaged. You and Fanelli? For better or for worse. Well, uh, your mother said that you told her this Yes, I know, I know. But then Jack came over and we talked for a long time. Things just fell into place. Does she know? Mom? Oh, yeah. We've been out in the bar with her. Oh. Well, we, I don't understand. Oh, Jack's here, too. Mother mentioned some problems we might run into. But she said we'd solve them because we love each other. She wished us all the happiness in the world. Well, of course, I say exactly the same thing, honey, if it's what you want. I'm behind you 100%. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you for that. Well, it's a real nice ring. It's very pretty. Yeah, I think so, too. But the most important thing is what it stands for. Marriage instead of uh, just commitment. That's right. Now our feelings about each other are public and official. That's going to make all the difference, Doc. It is. Yeah, it really is. Because the few important women in Jack's life have always ended up abandoning him. It started when his mother died. I told you about that. And, uh, in a fire when he was a kid. Huh? But when I put this ring on my finger today, it showed him that I'd never leave him. I expect to have a long life, and I want to spend it all with Jack. But he can rely on that now. He can relax and be himself. And then once you and Mother and everybody else know him the way I do, you'll love him, too. It's that simple. It is, huh? Well, but the most important thing is that, uh, for right now, you love him a lot. So uh, I think I ought to shake the hand of the groom-to-be, right? Oh, definitely. I'll go get him. Oh, I hoped it'd be all right, Dad. Thank you. Send him in, send him in. I know how tough this is for you, and I really appreciate it. You're being terrific. Okay. Well, now, I understand congratulations are in order. Yes, sir, thank you. The, uh, before we say any more, I want to apologize for the other night. I, uh, I had no business hitting you. And if I, uh, hurt you, I, uh, nothing like don't, that will ever happen again. Don't give it a thought. My fault entirely. I left myself wide open. Well, I think we're all agreed there'll be no more boxing matches in the kitchen. Right, 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 right. And uh, allow me to say, in the most prejudiced way I know how, I think you've got the finest young lady in New York City. All the world, as far as I'm concerned. You're lucky to have won her. Yes, sir. And as for you, my dear, I always told you you'd make some man a hell of a wife. Well, now we know who he is. Yeah, now we know. So, uh... The only thing I can say is uh, the best of both here and past misunderstandings aside, my blessings on you both. Thank you, Doc. So uh, you can stick around a little while, can't you? Well, I, I really think it's getting kind of late. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Good night, Mr. Ryan. Oh, it's Johnny now. Come on, Johnny. We're on first name basis. Johnny. Good night. Good night. Good night, Dad. Good night.